today's a special day. Today we have uh, released Marshall Murder One Lemmy's signature. Roses. My initial relationship with Lemmy was hearing Ace of Spades in 1980. Lemmy's bass sound uh, was something that really stuck out. Half punk rock was half like ACDC, part something else, and all exotic. This Rickenbacker through uh, these Marshall heads and through those cabinets are his core tone. So if you think about it, like uh, when you listen to his tone, it's very distorted, almost more like a guitar playing. And, and then the last person who would have played this would have been Lemmy. And this is one of his favorite basses that he'd had for years and years and years. Um, you also see this on the Eat, Eat the Rich video. Cameron Webb, uh, Motorhead producer, engineer, uh, worked with our developers to give us the presets that Lemmy used. Um, I didn't know what to make of this this product when it first came out. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't exactly sure. And then as I started using it, I was like, Oh my God, this is something special. Um, David, we're going to listen to some of your sound examples, uh, a few clips from your, um, from your uh, latest All YouTube right. video. Uh, but what, what are the first impressions? A Lemmy amp. What, what did, when you heard a Lemmy amp, like when you just heard this was going to be a product, what were your thoughts? Well, of course I thought it was super cool. I mean, I live in Los Angeles. We have a statue of Lemmy's <laughs> at Rainbow <laughs> where we go like almost every week, you know? So that is absolutely cool. Uh, Motorhead was is, is just an icon. Um, one of the best rock and roll band ever. Uh, so many bands owe something to Lemmy. Uh, which was an amazing bass player aside his work in, in Motorhead. Maybe, you know, a lot of people maybe not know this. And his tone is legendary just as much as the band and their song. You know, that was, you, there are some bands that you immediately recognize from some specific sound, right? If you hear Fieldy from Core, you know, he's slapping on his bass, you know that's Core, right? And this was the same with Lemmy. You hear that intro with that bass, you know that's Motorhead. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought it was a great idea. What what I didn't think, I said it in the beginning, is that this amp was so versatile that, you know, uh, it could be used for so many different sounds. And Monty, um, first impression was not just the same, not only this, but when my video came out and all the other guys from Ministry saw the video, they all actually because they knew about this days before because of course i had the plugins you know a little in advance but everybody was like holy cow <laughs> when where i can get one you know what yeah. how, can i get a copy all of them all paul you know caesar everybody the entire band was like damn that is good and um and few days before that after we recorded the video I was talking on the phone with monty and he was like dude i'm i was in studio recording a bass and i was just thought about like that plugin that we played with like two days ago yeah no, so these are like 100 percent legit <laughs> yeah uh, you know reaction to you know some pretty big guys <laughs> yeah no that's 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 amazing i mean al jorgensen's just a huge icon in terms of a producer but um you know, Monty just as a as a session guitar player and just just a natural talent is just insane. Monty's gonna play for us. Uh, this is it. First there time you go. Hearing yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there's so much more playing. I just didn't want to give away your entire uh, your entire uh, YouTube page right there. Um, but there's so much more playing, and it just sounds absolutely amazing. The first time I tried the amp, I turned up the volume a little bit, and I realized it's so loud. It's so loud. In order to get the sound quality we want at Softube, we use physical modeling. So basically, I look at the schematics, and the schematics uh, that tells you a lot about how it should behave. But then I also need to measure in order to capture all the quirks. We get all the interaction. I mean, for instance, the tone stack. Uh, the, the treble will behave a bit different depending on how you set the bass, for instance. We also measure the impedance on Lemmy's cabs in order to have the, the correct behavior. And that affects the tone. So I wanted to show that a few reasons. First off, um, I just love hearing and seeing our developers. I, Kim and Jensen, the, the two guys you saw from SoftTube that worked on this product, it, these two guys know more about amplifiers than I, I thought you could even know about an amplifier. They, talking to them and picking their brains about this stuff is incredible. Uh, but there's something special with this feature with Monty, and, and also I think it was Kim that said it. This is a bass amp. This is a, this is a bass amp that we're known or that Lemmy was known for playing, but in actuality, it's it's actually a guitar amp, right? This is, this is a Marshall yeah. Super Bass head. And and so, you know, we think of this maybe as Lemmy's amp, but it's also Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page. It's those sounds, right? It's And to play this with a guitar is just incredible. I mean, maybe, David, you could talk about that because we're going to check out in a second your Rickenbacker example. And I think, I think you can tell from those... 60 seconds that you showed in my video those were the very first seconds so we started with the factory default the first yeah. the first sound that you said that you hear is factory default i did not touch anything right and you can tell when a guitarist feels very comfortable playing through something anything a new amp a new plugin whatever and you can tell monty was not just being comfortable but was inspired and it, it, it enjoyed playing through it and we were both going oh my god this sounds good oh let's try this on oh this sounds good too and this you can't fake it you can't hype it a guitarist it will go it will either start playing w where you you don't you can't stop it right because he's enjoying and the performance and of course when someone like him playing you just look at it but you can't fake that and if, if they don't feel comfortable, if the guitar doesn't react the way they are used to with real amps that they don't like the sound, they will go, oh, I don't know, you know, what, what do I play? I did videos like that, you know? I did videos with other people where like, that was not the case and it, it doesn't flow. When, you know, in this case, like I told you, we probably stayed a good three hours and a half mm. playing for a, what, 20 minutes video. And that's because you know, we were just, he was having fun playing, I was having fun tweaking stuff. Let's get to a bass example because you did a great bass yep. example. On that note, a uh, special thanks to David from Mixbus TV. Special thank you from me and Softube for joining us as always. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great night and 20 day demo on all products. Go check it out. Make some awesome guitar tones. 